This is a comparison of different mic inputs for a Zoom session. This first one is the iMac built-in mic. And uh, for the samples, I will be reading different sections from Robert Frost's poem, Two Tramps in Mud Time. This first published in 1934. According to George Montiero, at the time, Frost remarked that he considered the poem to be against having hobbies. This is the Plantronics Voyager legend headset and uh, it looks like this and uh, I'll read some more from Two Tramps in Mud Time. Out of the mud two strangers came and caught me splitting wood in the yard and one of them put me off my aim by hailing cheerily hit them hard. This is DK True Wireless earbuds. And they look like this. I know pretty well why he dropped behind and let the other go on away. I knew pretty well what he had in mind. He wanted to take my job for pay. This is Bose Quiet Control 30 wireless headphones. They look like that. Nothing on either side was said. They knew they had but to stay their stay, and all their logic would fill my head, as that I had no right to play. These are the Powerbeats Pro wireless headphones, and they look like, like this. With what was another man's work for gain, my right might be love, but theirs was need. And where the two exist in twain, theirs was the better right. Agreed. This is now the Pile wired headset going into an Andrea Electronics USB audio interface. And those look like the following. This is what the headset looks like. And it goes into this little interface that looks like this. but yield to will to their separation. My object in living is to unite my avocation and my vocation as my two eyes make one in sight. This is the Audio-Technica AT2035, large diaphragm condenser mic into a Focusrite audio interface. So the mic looks like this, the interface, Looks like this, although this is fancier than what you need. This has four inputs. You only need one input, so you could get this one for less than half of the price. Only where love and need are one, and the work is play for mortal stakes, is the deed ever really done for heaven and the future's sakes. <laughs> 